students uh, till now we have solved the symmetry adapter linear combination for the benzene molecule for the a and b orbital so next is to solve the representations for e1 and e2 representations but in case of e1 and e2 representations you can see a and b are very simpler ones but e1 and e2 we have some imaginary function you can see it's epsilon over here minus epsilon star is here and we have along with the real numbers we have some imaginary numbers also so it is not as simple as your a and b representations so if i apply all the projection operator that i have done for the a and b representation now if i apply the similar type of uh, projection operator on e1 and e2 representation uh, you can see i have marked it as e1 a and e1 b now what is this so you can see that for the e1 representation we have two representation so first one is your a and second one is your b for uh, e1 in the same way for the e2 again we have two representations and the first one is your e to a and another one is your e to b representation so if we apply the similar type of projection operator that we have applied for the a and b representations you can see we can get the symmetry adapted combinations like this so you will see uh, these are the quite simpler one and uh, we have assigned the symmetry according to their symbols in the orbitals but what to do if the uh, uh, these representation are not the real representation they are the imaginary representation because it's the imaginary number so these two are okay but we cannot proceed with this type of representation to form the switch adapter linear combination it means we need to solve these imaginary numbers before proceeding further so we have to uh, solve them by taking the set of these two representation and set of these two representations so first we will solve the symmetry adapter linear combination for the e1 representations so how we can solve uh, this representation so you can see the for the e1 and e uh, 1a and e1b we have this type of representation so in order to convert this imaginary component into the real component we have to take their linear combination what is that we have to first add these two linear combinations and then we have to subtract that so what i have done here so first i added these two representation e1a plus e1b so whenever i add these two representation what will be the answer Phi one plus phi one, it will be your two phi one. So for this phi two and phi two, this will be uh, in both the cases epsilon phi two is common. So I have kept it is out of the bracket, and epsilon plus epsilon star will be like this. In this case, negative sign is common in both the cases. So I have kept the negative sign out of the bracket. So this will become epsilon plus epsilon star and phi 3 is common. So I have kept the phi 3 out of the bracket. Next is your phi 4. So both are of negative signs. So this will be minus 2 phi 4. Again, these two are our negative signs. So I've kept it as outside the bracket. Epsilon plus epsilon star and phi 5 is common. So I have kept it out of the bracket. And then it is your epsilon plus epsilon star. Phi 6 is common, so I have kept it out of the bracket. So in this case, first case, I have added the two representation. In the next case, I have subtracted E1B from E1A. So whenever I subtract it, so all the sign will be reversed because I am subtracting this. So whenever I subtract it, phi 1 minus phi 1, both are of opposite signs. So these will be cancelled out. Next, phi uh, epsilon minus epsilon star. 
and FITO is common, so I have kept it out of the bracket. Next is your uh, on subtracting it, this sign will be your positive. So it will be epsilon minus epsilon star and phi 3 is common. So it will be out of the bracket. Next, phi 4, uh, whenever I subtract it, so this negative will become positive. So these two will be of opposite sign. So these phi 4 will be cancelled out. So there is no phi 4. Next, uh, this will be of positive sign, epsilon star minus epsilon phi 5 is common so it is out of the bracket next is your phi star minus epsilon and phi 6 is common so i have a uh, first address and then subject to the root two representations so on doing uh, uh, this operation addition and subtraction so i have got these two representations but still my problem is not solved still i have some imaginary functions so by using uh, this character table and what this epsilon is, what really this epsilon is. So according to uh, the Euler's formula, the epsilon is, the formula of epsilon is cos 2 pi by n minus iota sine 2 pi by n. But this is the benzene molecule and here n is 6. So that's why I have put it as 6. So for the benzene molecule, it will be cos 2 pi by 6 minus iota sine 2 pi by 6. So this is the value of the epsilon. And epsilon star will be the same thing. The only thing the sign will be positive over here. So whenever I put this value, then I have to solve all these imaginary functions. So first if I took the epsilon plus epsilon star, so first I will put the value of epsilon. So what is that? It's cos 2 pi by 6 minus iota 2 pi by 6. I have just put this value. And next is your epsilon star. As I told you, uh, for the epsilon star, everything will be same. The only thing, the sign will be positive. So cos 2 pi by 6 plus iota sine 2 pi by 6. So you can see that this is minus iota 2 pi by 6 and this is plus iota 2 pi by 6. So these two will be cancelled out. So we will remain with the 2 cos 2 pi by 6. So 2 into pi is your 180 degree angle. So in order, once I solve this, I will get the answer 1. In the same way, if I solve for the epsilon star minus epsilon, what I will do, I will just put the value of cos 2 pi by 6 plus iota sine 2 pi by 6. All the things I will put out and I will get the answer iota and root 3. In the same way, if I solve for epsilon minus epsilon star, now I will get minus iota and root 3. So I have got the values for these things. So what I will do, I will put the values of this epsilon plus epsilon star into these two equations. So whenever I put these values, uh, so these are our values. So when I put the value, 251 will be same. So epsilon plus epsilon value, is your 1 so it will be 1 phi 2 uh, minus epsilon plus epsilon star is again 1 so this will be 1 phi 3 minus 2 phi 4 will be same there is no imaginary number uh, minus epsilon plus epsilon star again negative sign will as such and epsilon plus epsilon star is 1 phi 5 plus 1 phi 6 in the same way i will put the value of epsilon minus epsilon star that is your minus iota and root 3 i have put this value and in the same way i will put all the values over here so i have got this value so you can see uh, the first one uh, is very simple this will be your 251 plus phi 2 minus phi 3 minus 254 minus phi 5 plus phi 6 but here still we have iota terms it's a rainy uh, imaginary number so what we will do we will uh, keep all the common things out of the bracket and we will divide out and remove the prefactor constant the iota and root by three so on simplifying this we will get the first switched up linear combination for the e1 representation yeah for the e1a it will be 251 plus 52 minus 53 
minus 254 minus 55 plus 56 and the for the e uh, 1b representation this this one on subtracting I will get the answer phi 2 because all the common things I have kept out of the bracket and the sign thing will be same as such. So this will be phi 2 plus phi 3. This is minus because I have kept minus iota and root by 3 as a common predictor. So the sign will be of negative. So minus phi 6 and phi uh, 5, 5 and minus phi 6. So uh, for the E1 representations, we have these two symmetry adaptive combinations. So in the same way, we have to solve for the E2 representations. And you can see if we uh, take for the E2, I will get the answer, which is I have mentioned at the last uh, row of this equations. So uh, for the A representation, we have this symmetry adaptive linear combination. For the B, we have this symmetry adaptive linear combination. For the E1 that we have just solved, the representations will be symmetry adaptive linear combination will be this. And for the E2, we have this symmetry adaptive linear combination. Now, if I want to put all the symmetry adaptive linear combination with their symmetries, so for the EA representation, all the signs are positive, all the black one, which are of positive sign at the upper side. So it will be like this. Uh, if I put for the E1 representation, you can see for the phi1, it's a double. So I have make it a bit bulkier in order to show that it's a 2 phi1. Okay, next is your, this is your 2 phi1. Then this is uh, positive, phi2 is this. This is minus phi3, this is phi4. Again, phi4 is of, um, negative sign and phi 4 is double so again it is double here one this is again the negative sign so uh, positive uh, sign will be at the lower side phi 6 is positive and it is like this in the same way for the e1 so there is no orbital for the phi 1 and phi 4 so these orbiter have been missed and phi 2 and phi 3 are the positive ones so they are uh, the blacker one are at the upper side and these are two of negative signs so I am marking in the same way. So in the same way if I represent uh, the E2 and uh, these two E2 representations so it will be the same way the 2 5 1 which is of positive sign uh, it will be up on the upper side and in the same way the representations will be shown. So on the basis of this chart separation, we can even uh, show the pictorial representations uh, that they are nodal things. So you can see that all the signs are positive for the A representation. There is no chart separation. The whole of the things will be, the upper part will be positive, the lower part will be the negative. So you just see there is no nodal thing. So for the A representation, there is no nodal thing. For this E1 representation, you can see that this upper cloud is your negative and this is your positive cloud and in between there is nothing and, and here we have the positive and lower one is negative. So the one nodal plane will be formed in between. In the same way, you can see that these two, uh, this is your negative, these three, these three are of negative signs which are of upper side and three are of positive sign. So your cloud, positive cloud is here and this is your negative cloud and reverse signs at the downward side. Again, there is a nodal plane in between. You can see that this is your one positive side, so these are the negative side and in between there is a one node is formed. So these two representations, E1 and this and E1, this have one nodal plane. And in the next case, you can see if I just put the um, sign on the benzene ring, you can see that this phi, uh, 5 and 2 are of positive, 2 and uh, 5. These are of positive signs and uh, other are of negative signs. Um, yes, uh, imagine this 2 and uh, your, uh, um, these 2 are missed, 1 and uh, 
four, they are missed and other are of opposite signs. So one nodal plane over here, another nodal plane will be here. So we have two nodal planes. In the same way, one is this charge separation, one is here, another is here, another is here. So we have two nodal in plane in between. In the same way, we have one is this, two is this, this is this. So we have two nodal planes in between. So the representation, which are E2 representation, we have two nodal planes. And uh, for the B representation, you can see we have a uh, scattered charge, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and negative. So we will get one, two, and three nodal planes. So by using this symmetry adapter linear combination, even we can predict the nodal nodes present in the molecule. So you can very easily say that presentation has no nodes. And uh, your E1 representation has one node and E2 having two nodes and your B representation has three nodes. Uh, on the basis of this symmetry adapter linear combination, even we can form the energy level diagrams so through which uh, different transitions occur in the molecules. Now, all those energy level diagram that we will do in the next classes. So till now, we will uh, uh, form the symmetry adapter linear combination for the benzene. And we have predicted the nodal planes uh, present in the different representations. So in the next lecture, we will uh, talk about the BF3 molecule. So on the basis of this BF3, uh, by forming symmetry adapter linear combination, we will uh, determine the hybridization of the bond. So just by taking an example of BF3 molecule and by considering its point group and forming its reducible and irreducible representations, uh, we will determine what is the hybridization of this molecule that we will do in the next lectures. Thank you so much.